Hey, what's up? It's Overdue Media for Overdue Media Productions, Overdue Beats on YouTube. I'm planning to put out um, a beat tape very soon for the first quarter of the year. One Afro beat and one hip hop, and the hip hop I'll be doing will be some lofi, laid back, 90s, you know, boombox kind of beats. Soundcraft MTK12, which is definitely. Um, something i'm trying to incorporate into the system into the workflow and i hope that um, it will bring some magic to it apart from even mixing and summing with this uh, mixer i want to say there are a lot of other things that you can do with the mixer i'm not going to be going to that but we're going straight right now to my laptop and we're going to set up on ableton for today's instance we're going to be using ableton i think in the subsequent video i'll try to also use the mpc beats not try i'll definitely use the mpc beats thank you for hanging around let's do this and the next thing i want to do is start routine so now we're routing out from our main will not be coming out from 12. and something i quickly also want to point out is if you're getting the mtk soundcraft i think it's very very advisable i recommend that you get the big knob um, because to do a whole lot when you are finally trying to sound out to the door you need to reduce the volume and it's coming from your left and right main speakers and pop it up here and if you're doing that in a residential environment that would definitely not be encouraging so having said that let's go straight to the mix so i just suited out our main to 12 11 and 12 so i'm going to route out a sample i would like to put a sample so on the Ableton side of things, you see from the masters, audio from masters, we're not using any audio, so I'll just say no input, but on the audio app, we're going to route this to, let's just route this to 9 and 10, the stereo, so I'll route that to 9 and 10, I'll start from the left this time, so, so you see that 9 and 10 is coming through, so I'm going to flatten everything, That doesn't really matter anyway, but I'm going to just make a unit true before we start mixing. So, the volume. I would like to leave some headrooms. Then, um, the 808 external 808. So, audio from. Well, no, we don't need any inputs. So, like we did before, we're going to also send this out, I mean the 808, now we're sending the 808, because 808 is mono, I would like to put my 808 on the 3. out so I'll quickly just put this where most of the instruments were playing so that's my 808 I'll leave it at that first I actually did some EQing before so I knew that my 808 was coming out from three and my kick is gonna be coming out from two so just to speed up the things a little bit audio from we don't need any audio coming from nowhere audio we are going to send to a standard out and that's the kick and we're going to route it to, to mono 2 so we'll go straight to the snare right now audio you don't need to do this anyway this audio tool you don't need to put yeah definitely audio too let's turn it out i'll put it on i'll put my snare on four so i already eq the snare for four I just call it cry. 
Mirage. So I'm gonna send it out to so there's a group, that's one beautiful thing about it. When you have um, the group, one beautiful thing about it is you can also group and boss your your signal and boot that boss to a particular channel here. For instance, I boss this crash, and if I open that crash, I know there are some other elements like the short crash and you know and the long crash. So I'll route that to I'll route that to six. I'll route that to six mono. Back to the individual channel and you know send it to automatically it actually send it to crash you can see that the audio is now automatically sent to crash which is grouped so so you hear the crash coming in then on the hi hats i'm going to send the master to estana and i'm going to drop that on the six That's up with the routing. I still have. Let me see what I put on these elements. So the snaps and so I'm gonna put that on the seven and eight. Let's turn it out. Coming out from the seven and eight, let me just quickly solo it. I think it's a is a crash. Okay, yeah, the transition. So basically, this is how you set up your Ableton and the MTK twelve. So we hear that boom. So just to give it. So that's coming through well. So on the snare side of things, so if I was to be using any of the effects, for instance, I was to add reverb to the snare. Be a little bit reverb a little bit i will then push here and push a little bit of the return so this is the return so if i if i send this so you can see that Just using a little bit of the slap slap karaoke on my snare, you know, just to give it a little bit space and the return here, and that was the amount I added. You can definitely hear that. On the fifth. Yeah, that was on the, from the fifth. That was a little bit too dry. And if I was to solo this,
So I give it a little bit of that. I give it a little bit. You see, I, I also turn off my mic mistakenly. So. Just a little bit. Let me see how that blends with. Yo. So I think I'm happy with that. So I did the pan on, on my inbox mixing or from Ableton, so I'm not gonna do any crazy panny here. So this is normally for the panny. <coughs> Excuse me. It's normally for the panny, and of course, if you're wondering why am I not using the green buttons, those green buttons are for aux. If I was to be sending any of, of what I'm doing right here, or sending any part of this instrument to a particular aux, where I'll route out to somewhere else, but that would be something for some for another day. So let's just hear everything together. Seven and eight. Yeah. Snap. Correct. Melody. I'm going to boost a little bit because I know on the samples there's some low ends. It's coming from the sample too. So I only supported it with my 808. So that's why I'm going to boost it a little bit from the sample. A little bit of the low end. Exactly. <coughs> so I'm going to boost a little bit of the low end there. So what I'll do next is. Try to see. Yeah, boosting the body. So that's gonna boost the, get the violin coming in. If I was to take that out, it's gonna sound very thin. So I boosted the middle, the mid, and of course. So what I do, my tip on when I try to mix with this mixer most times on every other software, I try to always check the extreme of that effect. <coughs> if I check the extreme of the effect and I try to see how the effect will probably brighten or you know just key the momentum or the energy that is that I'm trying to present or that I'm trying to capture on a particular instrumental. So on this occasion, after I posted a little bit of the of the low ends and the meats, just to give it because that's the sample here we're talking about. Just to make it a little bit clear. I just listen to it and know I know it's not fair, but I know it's not fair to listen to it alone when you're mixing, it's not recommended. That's what everybody says and I and I kind of agree with that because you're marrying the whole thing together. So, boom, boom, it's boosted a little bit here, and the meat is boosted here. And just to add some brightness to that meat, and just a little bit. I know when I start using a lot of this from the mixer, when I'm recording the masters, as in the song, 
I think I will also want to put some life effect by also tweaking the buttons. I mean, on some effects just to sweep, put some more, you know, effect and kind of dynamics to a beat that you can record straight when you are recording for the master, which you are going to see very soon. So that will be it. I think I'm happy with it. Yo, 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 yo. So definitely this is how I would like it to sound. I'll take it, normally I'll take it, uh, listen to everything one more time. Take a break. So I'm just gonna take a break, a coffee break. And when I come back, we're gonna be recording back into the door. Peace. So we already set up, our levels are fine. The kick is coming out the way I would like it to be. Maybe I'll pull the melody down a little bit. So. Yo. So it's just about balancing at this moment. See here the 808. I can see here the 808. I can see here. I can see here the 808 and almost every part of the element that I used in creating the beat. So it's time now to to root it out and record it back to the door. Set the volume. Um, I'm true with this, so it's very good to be able to organize your files, organize your bosses. So when I'm since I'm true, I'm just gonna come you know compress everything that's a very good function which i think every other door also has so the next thing is to open a new audio and this new audio i will tie to mtk so mtk song mtk song so the next thing i'll do is to external audio in definitely so i'm going to be taking the 13 and 14 you see that the 13 and 14 is showing up which is the left and right coming from the mixer so the next thing you want to do is level i try to put my just a little bit under the zero just to give it a little bit of room if i still need to increase it by the time i finish sending back to so what we'll do at this point is i try to see from the wave format and the volume so this is where the knob comes in so you can always turn the volume down on the knobs while it's not affecting what you're recording so i'm going to turn this down and try to boost this you see when i start boosting the masters here it will start to go up to the yellow but not red on my mixer i'm not i'm not going red and but on, in the door i'm still going red when the kick hits now I think I'm fine and one other thing is now I have three different ways I can actually you know mess with my volume you know in order to make it probably loud or whatever it is you want to do so I'm just going to record from the beginning to the end of the track I'll just give it a little bit of space yeah I think this is it anyways for me so now we're going to record. 
broccoli. Like I'm fitting it at all. 